Hey folks, my name is Provis and welcome to more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. At the time I'm recording this, it is currently Halloween night. And I wanted to show off some spooky vampire scenarios because the developers just released a scenario spotlight for those. But unfortunately, two out of the five I've already played, one is unpublished and the other two are clones of the originals with like no real changes. So a very disappointing spotlight for me. So instead I've started searching for other things that we could try out and I settled upon Plants vs. Zombies Ultimate by Sub. Seems good. I mean, it's not as scary as it probably could have been. But I mean, you're not even watching this on Halloween anyway, so I guess it's fine. Dr. Zomboss, formerly called Carl, was tired of working his dead-end job as an unpaid intern and having no one respect his genius. So he made a powerful zombie virus to bring humanity to its knees. Zombies made from the virus gained a special armor that made them immune to modern weaponry and anything inorganic. However, at the same time, Crazy Dave and his friends spliced various plant DNA with that of humans, creating creatures that grow from seeds like plants with the intelligence of humans. His friend brought them to the CIA to create a bioweapon no one had ever seen just in case. Right, because that's a thing you normally can do, right? You just bring it to the CIA and they're like, you know what, we'll hold on to this just in case. Actually, wait, crap, that might be exactly what the CIA does. That's a little bit scary. All right, obviously based off of PVZ, images come from the games, they're pretty good. If you find grammar mistakes, it's because no one even really knows English, not even Provis. All right, you know what? He's completely right. <laughs> English is a silly language with a lot of inconsistencies, so fair enough, I appreciate the shout out. That said, I'll still mock you relentlessly. So here we go, let's play with the virus type. Metabolic jump, Darwinist, Aquasite Extremophile, and Dopamine Inhibitor. Dopamine inhibitor for the zombies? This is not, okay, well you know we're apparently gonna be mixing up our disease types today. It can be beaten, apparently, on Mega Brutal, so we're gonna give this one a go. Wait a minute, am I the zombie? I thought I was gonna be creating the plants and I was releasing a bioweapon to turn everyone into plants or something or release a lot of them, but maybe I'm actually playing as Dr. Zomboss. Okay, cool, I wasn't expecting that. I really thought I'd be on the opposite side, but I'm down. Uh, he has implanted, ha, 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 wow, okay. Beautifully done. Special DNA that not only makes zombies, makes them invulnerable to modern weaponry. The only way you could lose is if someone were to make the plants capable of taking down humans, which they did. I could let you choose your start, but we all know you'd start in Saudi Arabia. And making you start in America seems kind of boring. This could explain where they got all those Zombonis from. Don't worry about them being rich. Dr. Zomboss planned around those pesky drugs. So we're starting in Canada. Oh, goody. Okay, so we are kind of actually a Necroa virus, which is not what I expected, but we're going for this. Already, I'm quite happy with how this is turning out. Phytonosis? Hmm, genetic shift in virus increasing infectivity and so on for plants. Why would we- I guess infecting plants makes sense. No, wait a minute. If we're the zombies and we're getting killed by intelligent plants, infecting the plants seems like the smartest thing to do. Brilliant! Reduce control, sure, greatly increased mutation, blood, blah, blah, blah. We have symptoms, eye swelling, and polyphagia. Definitely not going down your normal route here, so I'm good with that. For abilities, we start with Dr. Zomboss Genetics. Implant the latent ability to make zombies, but also implant a drug-resistant viral ma. Oh, oh, sorry, that's not ma. It's certain, when they're all lowercase like this, tell me that doesn't look like an M. It's RNA, all right? Ribonucleic acid, I believe is what that stands for. Allowing resistance to modern healthcare. Okay, well that's helpful at least. And controlled revolution, we start at a mutation level of zero? Surprising! Okay, so we're basically the ultimate creationists. Very ironic, but that's fine. We could go ahead and grab photonosis, and I will because it gets me a little bit of starting infectivity since we're starting very slowly around Canada. But you know what? It looks like we might be infecting around like Banff area. So I'm hoping we get up to like Lake Louise and Banff National Park and we'll infect all the plants and all the plants will come to life and they'll march down and kill every single Canadian. No way, that maybe, that's, uh, maybe I got a little bit too far with that personal fantasy. Peas! Virus grants the ability to infect peas and related pants. Wait a minute. If we're infecting the pea shooters, what, what, wait a minute, what, they haven't even started fighting the Zombos yet. <laughs> We're preempting the bioweapon! Brilliant. All right, well, there's the pea shooters. Infection of PVZ peas causes peas to attack their human gardeners. We're literally turning their defense upon themselves. What kind of a tower defense is this <laughs> if the towers turn and shoot the creator? Worst game ever! All right, that's fine. Sunflowers. Mmm, those pesky sunflowers. We could also go for things like the gastrointestinal expansion. I wouldn't really mind having a bit of um, mutation chance. 
Could be fun. New zombie types as well. Ooh, I like that idea. Well, let's go for the gastrointestinal expansion, all right? If you guys eat the infected plants or whatever else, you're gonna swell up, all right? You're gonna bloat like a balloon, okay? Hey, there's an airport in Greenland. I don't need that if I have normal zombies, but there we go. Let's go for some eye swelling and for some polyphagian stuff. Normally what you wanna do is rush down the zombie roots, right? The only reason I haven't done that so far is because I get such a slow start in Canada, I figure I need some transmission to get me started. Also, I don't know what this symptom branch looks like. Normally it's in these corners and it heads toward the center. Already it's going off in different directions, so I have no idea what to do. So it's fine, we're just gonna hedge our bets, get a little bit of transmission, and then we can focus down some of the symptoms. This is where having the mutation chance would have been nice though. Delirium includes a little bit, just a little bit, of lethality, which I'm not exactly happy about. Hmm, well we got it for free. Wait a minute, what? Something's wrong, something's wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I should have zero mutation chance. So what did I get that got me some mutation chance? Did I get anything? Oh, this one. All right, never mind. I was about to rail on the developer and say, ah, you failed. There was mutation chance. No, I just didn't read entirely. Cause like, I just, let's be honest, I gloss over this. No, there was mutation chance. Very low mutation chance, but it existed. Oh good, we're in the United States of America. Well, cool. Total brain death. That's not the direction I want to go. No, no, no. Let's go down polyphagia, autophagia, stuff like that. I really do not want total brain death. I want to turn people into zombies. So far, we have a lot of infected people. We don't have any zombies, and that's the problem. Now, here's the thing that scares me. While we have been shown a lot of things about zombies, at the end of the day, this is a virus type. So let's hope that nothing got messed up there, because that would be absolutely hilarious. All right, the world is now concerned about Dr. Zomboss and his quest for power. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Cannibalism. There we go. Making some progress there. All right, that's what I'm looking for. I don't mind total brain. I don't want total brain death, but I'm totally fine with a bit of cannibalism. Just a little nibble amongst friends, okay? You can't really go wrong with that. The big problem is I'm really still getting almost no meaningful amount of DNA. I'd really like to get some um, drug resistance level uh, two, but that does not exist. We do need to get some heat resistance or I'm not gonna spread pretty much anywhere in Central and South America or eventually in Australia and a lot of other places. I see a whole bunch of borders closing down. Oh, what, are you all afraid of the Zombellinis? You're all afraid? Cowards! It's going to be fine. Too bad you didn't shut down your airports, you bunch of dinguses. All right, fine. Uh, right, let's go for cannibalism, and there's the genetic activation. All right, Dr. Zomboss activates latent DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, implanted in a virus, the DNA responsible for reanimation. Activation allows for an increase of mutation as well. The zombies are not severe. Yes, I do know this. The zombies start off exceptionally weak. I didn't read that! Frick, what did that say? Bath time combo. We got a bath time combo of something. Gosh dang it. Oh, I should have read that. Should have read that. Didn't read that. Regret. Much regret. Oh, they're at 25% of the cure already. That's surprisingly fast. I can't get the 15th DNA point. There it is. All right, now we have zombies. What do we get here? Basic zombies. Zombification converges on basic zombies that are only smart enough to put on ties and shirts and yell, BRAINS. Regains loss severity and unlocks the hordes. I do need the hordes. This is truth. I do need the hordes. All right, so we'll pick this sucker up. There we go, ducky tube zombies. Swim in the pools, good for human transmission. Conehead zombies. They're smart enough to put a traffic cone on their head, increasing severity and combat effectiveness. Also the nocturnal shift. Okay, they see better at night. Combat strength boosts unlock many more zombie types. Causes insomnia to the infected, which would usually slow down the cure, which is good, but I don't see that being a thing. I'm very concerned with how quickly they are curing me right now. Very concerned. All right, let's go ahead and start spending my points to just infect lots of places, because it certainly seems like we're gonna be struggling to make this one work here. Um, where else can I go? Let's go into places like Germany. Let's go ahead and move over there, over there. I wanna get through a lot of Europe. Let's make sure we get some zombies into China. We're not sending many zombies, but I don't need many zombies. Just a few is all it takes. Got a New Zealand. That's gonna save me a fair bit of travel time. Thank you for that. Um, we can get into Korea. That seems fine. Southeast Asia. I'm a little bit worried about the islands down that away. Uh, let's go ahead and spread. Oh, I'm out of DNA. Never mind. It's costing me a lot of DNA to start spreading these guys. This is actually gonna start kind of hurting at some point, isn't it? It certainly seems that way. What do we have here? Zombie infectiousness. An undead breeding ground for the virus. Infectivity and conversion rate increased. And corpse transmission. Seems great, actually. Let's pick that up. There's also brain disruption. Learns how to distribute brains pseudo-rationally. 
Really? They're going to start, like, rationing out the zombie brains? That's actually kind of smart. Reduce zombie decay. Restraint while brain eating. Zombies now only eat the brain partially. They're literally going to start, like, uh, controlling their appetites. Brilliant. Raw zombies. Hot countries. They steal sun from planters, so they reduce decay and increase zombies' combat advantage. Kind of cool. All right, well, at least having things like a little bit of corpse transmission should certainly be nice. We're going to start building up a bit of power here. Not as much as I want, though, and we're spending so much DNA trying to move around the hordes that I'm not getting everywhere I want to right now, and that is concerning. Let's make sure we get into at least some islands, all right? Let's be honest. The islands are a problem. I am very concerned that they are going to successfully cure me, which is not a normal experience for me. Is there anything we could do that is going to maybe remove that? Um... We go for autolytic decay, that's usually good. Zomboss commands, increase the horde size. Yeah, but not exactly what I'm looking for. We could do some genetic reshuffles, but I'm not really gaining a lot of power here. Let's go for the increased combat effectiveness and reduced decay, so we keep zombies around a little bit longer. Getting some points, good. Let's get into Indonesia. Can I get down to, let's say, East Africa? I want to get to places like Madagascar. We're in a lot of the world, but we're not actively destroying the cure, and that's kind of a problem. There's Zcom. They're going to freaking cure me here, actually. This is not going as well as I thought it would. Um, don't really care about the cold resistance. Some of this is quite expensive. I'm starting to think that you do need to have mutation chance to survive. So we probably would need to go for things like reduce control. I'm also starting to think that in this scenario, you need to go a little bit more under the radar than I expected. So they're going to start setting up some bases, which is a problem. Um, as long as they're not killing my zombies, I just want to see if it's possible for us to still win this. Because usually, for obvious reasons, um, I kind of have to have the disease still exist. But maybe we can just win this by sheer zombie spread. Maybe we can do that. Let's go for Zomboss commands because I need to send more zombies into places like Siri in order to shut down this Zcom. Okay, that's kind of important. Otherwise, we're not going to have enough numbers to win this. The question is, can we really get enough DNA to actually survive here? And I'm not convinced one way or another. Zombies are starting to run out of gas. Hold on. Send reinforcements. Send reinforcements. Keep that going. Normally, I want to get a lot more combat strength. Yeah, we're not winning that. Okay. So we can't deal with the existing Zcom, and I wasted a lot of DNA. I'm going to restart here. But I'm, you know what? I'm glad, actually, that this scenario is, in fact, different enough in its balance that I have to take a different approach. If it were the same as every other zombie scenario, let's be honest, that would get a little bit boring, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So, um, we're gonna go a little bit more under the radar. Focus on getting some early transmissions. Don't worry about going for the zombies as early as you usually would, because normally you can just straight out race the cure, but that's not gonna happen this time. So I wanna get mutation chance from things like walnuts, sunflower, and peas, and let that start carrying me to victory. Stay under the radar a little bit longer, get around the world a little bit more, and then maybe then we can just go ahead and take the jump out of it. Either that or I'm wrong. And it turns out you really have to continue going for the rush of the zombies. And the fact that I even did what I did before was a grievous error. That's entirely possible too. It is possible that I really should be going hardcore on the zombie uh, reanimation right now and ignore literally everything else. We'll find out. Really want to get that walnut up and running. I just think the mutation chance is going to end up being a saving grace for me. Because here's the thing. Everything got a little bit too expensive at some point. I didn't have enough gas to make that work. So if I can get mutation chance, not only can it maybe help me get to the zombie activation a little bit faster, but maybe I'll also just rely on that to just get me lots of free things while I focus on using nothing but my DNA to move the zombies around, and then we just base race the rest of humanity. That could be a thing. 21 DNA for reduced control sounds like a halfway decent proposition for me. I would like to get heat resistance, but we're still only in Canada. Now we're in the USA. Okay, well, that's a little bit better. I will get some level of heat resistance just in case we get out of there. All right, I know the US is considered to be a fairly temperate country. I lived in Arizona. I know how hot it can get, gosh dang it. I am well aware. All right, my casual like 115 degrees Fahrenheit summers. Haha. <laughs> Oh, those were the days. Oh, but it's a dry heat! Yes, it is a dry heat, and there's something nice about a dry heat, but you know what sucks? Being outside even in a dry heat if it's that freaking hot! Alright, it's a little bit nuts. It's a little bit much. Alright, we're starting to get around the world. I just need to get up to 21 DNA. Give me a little bit more. There we go. Alright, reducing that control. We are opening the doors to chaos. Let's see what happens now. So, sunflower, combat advantage, decay, decrease, combat boost, and mutation or conversion rate and mutation. Hmm. 
All of which does sound very good, doesn't it? Yes, but I'm still not getting much mutation. I was kind of hoping we'd start getting a lot of pop-ups right about now, and that is not happening. Okay, we could go for blood. No, I'll just hold off for a minute. Uh, okay, autophagia, good. Making progress a little bit in the symptoms. Worst come to worse, I don't mind holding on to some DNA if I'm just going to activate things pretty quick, but so far they're still not really working on that cure, and we are getting around quite a lot right now. So that doesn't seem that bad. Um... I'm going to go for the Sunflower for the Rural Mutation and Combat Advantage and Decay Decrease so I keep my zombies around a little bit longer. Seems completely fine. We're definitely getting around right now. That is not the issue. Like, we're getting around better than I expected. Let's go for Walnut Level 2. More conversion rate means that as we kill people, we're likely to get more zombies, so that's good. And now is about the time I'd really like to have them activated. We could go for the Peace Shooter for the combat boost and stuff, and that's pretty good when Z-Com becomes a thing. Now they're working pretty hard on that cure, and I really feel like we need to make a move here, and it's not happening. So it's still not enough. Let's go for Cannibalism, let's go for Skin Conversion, I need Delirium. And I could still easily get completely obliterated if I get Total Brain Death too soon. Please, right now, mutate Genetic Activation and not Total Brain Death. DANG IT! Alright, we got Total Brain Death. Um... <laughs> right, let's go ahead and grab genetic activation. So now people are dying. The, the dead are indeed going to start rising. Um, what is this, by the way? Zombify plants. Ooh, hang on. Virus now able to infect the intelligent plants. See, I can make fun of you for that one. I may not understand the English language. Maybe no one does. But I know spelling. And that ain't it. Allowing them to become zombies. Goody! Let's go ahead and grab that. Screw it. I was gonna go for the corpse transmission, but the idea of now having plants all turning into zombies seems brilliant! Alright, now I want to get corpse transmission. So now, the uh, death here doesn't scare me as much. Let's go for some hordes. Let's make them a little bit stronger. Eh, maybe, hang on. Um, what else could be good here? I'm gonna go for more combat effectiveness and reduce decay for a second instead. Ramp up this DNA. What are we missing? Sweden, Africa, islands. That's it? That's not too bad. All right. Norway, invade Sweden. Haha, -ha, vengeance shall be yours. Uh, we will get over here, and we will get over here. And that's all the DNA I've got, but that gets rid of these islands. And we should find that we are now devouring the worlds with the majority of the science. So I'm hoping that if I just go for a genetic reshuffle or two, we'll be fine. I'm gonna need some more heat transmission. I can predict that already. Um, hmm, what do we got over here? The decay speed and better conversion rating. I'm not worried about that. Let's go ahead and grab, um, well, is Raw Zombie going to be doing me a lot of good? No, I feel like I need the hot climate. They still haven't set up Z-Com yet, which actually shocks me. Where is Z-Com going to spawn? Like, normally the world isn't this infected before Z-Com even becomes a thing. Huh. Now I'm a little suspicious. A little bit. They're really working hard on that cure, and they might succeed. Or at least they thought they were going to. Genetic reshuffle! What pow Ha-ha! Go back a little bit. There it is. Alright, they set up in South Africa. Right, well that's annoying. Um, okay. Um, hmm. Let's go for Zomboss. What else can I get here? I mean, hmm. These are all a little on the speed side. I was still hoping for a lot more, uh, combat boosts. <sighs> Peace Shooter might be a bit expensive at this point. I need to save some points for this. <laughs> Let's go for raw zombies. I think that'll help me in the hot climates a bit. 95% cure progress still. But like, almost every world that's capable of... <sighs> okay. Most of the countries that are capable of doing a lot of the research should be dead. So this should only get better, but I have to reset this by like so much. They're setting up a new base. I don't know where you're setting up a new base, but it's suicide and you should be ashamed of yourselves. We need to do what? Um, I could go for the genetic hardening. I really need the combat strength is the problem. <laughs> Let's go for conehead zombies. There's buckethead zombies. More severity that way. Yeah, but I need to start working my way down and surrounding... Surrounding South Africa so I have a huge zombie pool to pull from. And then we'll be in better shape. So let's go down there. Can I get over? I cannot. All right, hold on. Get into Madagascar just for good measure. I know, I know, we don't have a lot of DNA. They've almost got that cure. They do have that cure. What else we got? Screen door? Eh. Eh, I don't know about this. Increase the conversion rate. Eh, I'm feeling a little bit iffy on some of this. We need to get zombie communication for thousands of zombies or we're going to have a problem. So yeah, they're starting to cure me now. And the zombies that exist are still going to convert people, but it's not... Ne oh. You set up another base literally right here. We'll frick you too. Okay. Um, hmm. 
Okay. Well, the disease is only gonna spread if we keep biting people, basically. Which shouldn't be a problem. As long as we have corpse transmission, I think we'll be alright. I'm gonna keep doing this because now we're getting hundreds of thousands of zombies around. I would like to get Zimbabwe to inv uh, invade Botswana, but we don't have enough zombies here. Ducky Tube just mutated. Good. Okay. They're about to send another base into another place. Gosh dang it. Okay. Uh, we need to reduce decay. What is this one going to do? Millions? Let's get millions of zombies. They went to... Okay, that's perfect. We'll go ahead and send out of Spain, send a few million zombies down here, and we're going to start marching a horde down south. Let's try that. I don't usually continue with this at the point where I've already been cured. This is really weird, but I think it's fine, to be honest. I think we're completely okay. All right, just keep moving down that way. They grow stronger in South Africa. That is annoying, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We'll be fine. Um, I do want to get probably the bucket heads. Digger zombies! More combat boosts. We could go for pole vaulting. Increase the horde speed. Yeah, but that costs 20 DNA is the problem. Like, it's, it's very expensive to do this. All right, well, let's just go ahead and try to invade in Botswana. That's several million people who instantly get infected. You're going to set up a base in New Guinea, but I'm pretty sure you're instantly going to get destroyed over there. So we're good like that. Let's go ahead and start invading South Africa with a few million zombies like so. That's many, many millions instantly dying, though. Holy cram. Okay, so we're still not strong enough then. What's going to get me the best combat boost, do we think? That's severe. I don't really care about that. Nocturne shift. I guess we'll pick that up. Dancing zombies? No. It's not gonna do the job. Alright, how about Botswana? Botswana should fall, I think. We just don't have enough combat strength still. After all of this, we do not have enough combat strength. And I'm gonna start burning through all my zombies really quickly right now. I mean, I'm flooding them, but look how fast Ecom is destroying everything that gets in here. Yeah, it's not enough. I needed the disease to continue working for me. At this point, we're literally gonna start running out of zombies. And I have no more DNA because every country in the world is dead and eaten. We're gonna lose! After all of that, we are indeed gonna lose. Huh. Alright. Let's try this one more time. I am gonna go for, um, just the zombie rush and ignore literally everything else. And we're gonna see how well that works. Don't worry though, I will speed through. Okay, we have zombies starting just around the time they're working on the cure if I do nothing else. I'll be honest, this feels like it was still too slow to me. I feel like I had better infection and stuff before. Okay, um... Yeah, I actually, I actually don't think this is gonna work. I feel like what I needed to do was a mix of what I did before. I know I haven't gotten far enough to prove that it's not gonna work, but my gut says that that was not the right strategy. I think what we need to do is I was kinda close before. Pick up, like, the first round here. And then... Then go hard on getting the zombies from there, and hopefully the mutation chance works a little bit in your favor. So it ends up finishing around the same time, but you actually have enough infectivity to back up the swarm. Okay, so definitely slower, because Canada is now starting to work on a cure, but we're up to this point. I'm two steps away, and I have much better stats. Uh, it's about equivalent here. If I could just get cannibalism for free right now, this would actually be enough to save it. Doesn't look like we're going to get that far. Okay, cannibalism, and then ugh, we're one point off. All right, there we go. Thank you, Iceland. Done. So now we're starting to make the zombies, okay? So they're going to start working aggressively on that cure, but already, like, we are effectively at a better spot from a cure perspective. We're in more of the world, and I've got much better stats. I think I'm right about my gut here. This is the better way to go. We're actually getting a lot of DNA right now, which is great. So I will probably want to get things with zombie infectiousness. We already know that heat transmission has been a problem. Let's fix that now. And I could slow down the cure over time and maybe... Maybe that's not a bad idea. Just go ahead and pick up one level of that now. And the sooner we pick that up, the better the value is going to be, right? So I think that might be a saving grace as well. Yeah, at this point we're only 25% of the cure complete and we already are in most places and I'm heading into every island right now to make sure that Zcom doesn't feel likely to spawn there. Because fighting on an island can be very annoying. Oh, frick me, they started New Zealand anyway. Frick you! Don't you dare go to Iceland. Don't you- oh. well, At least I'm already hitting critical mass here, so I don't think it matters. We should be able to deal with everyone there. Oh, and Africa remains a pretty substantial problem for me. I was hoping the heat resistance would help. What is this? Oh, graves. Eh, we could just get some more zombies, I guess. No, I'm gonna have to send massive numbers of zombies from Australia into New Zealand if I want to have a chance at making this work. Because <sighs> I can't- I can't easily surround an island like this. Like, that's the literal worst place for this to be. 
so I have to get all the way to having millions of strong zombies in order to make this work, right? And even then, it looks like they're gonna get the cure again, aren't they? Oh gosh, dang it. I've gotta get every little bit of combat strength and severity I can. Every little bit. We're barely fighting the cure back, we got total brain death. Genetic reshuffle level two, okay, more severity there. Zombonies, haha, <laughs> zombonies. That's funny. Um, right. No, Zcom destroyed in Iceland. They set up a new base in Africa because I couldn't get over there fast enough. We can try to deal with that now. I'm getting DNA. That's good. There's the bucket heads. We're arriving now in New Zealand. There's, this is not over, but it's really tight because I've somehow got to find a way to mass infect New Zealand aggressively, and they are still killing me off too fast. Dude, I don't actually know if this is possible to win. Dr. Zomboss's robot. That's what I would like. 42 DNA to boost up all stats dramatically. That'd be huge. And we actually seem to have successfully stopped the cure. We actually might be able to get this in New Zealand. Hold on. We're really close. Maybe we got this after all. Oh, I think we did. We did! Oh my god. Alright. So that leaves East Africa, which is struggling right now, but that's okay. Send in the reinforcements! Yeah, I think we might be able to have this here. Okay, so now we just need to successfully infect... Every other person in the world, which we're very close to do, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the decomposition further because the more my zombies stick around, the more likely I'm gonna be able to survive this. I'd hate to find out that all my zombies died and I hadn't finished off East Africa, but no, we did that. Zcom is dead. They are so close to finishing off the cure. This must be torture for you guys. Redistribute the wealth of the zombies just a little bit. Everything should be infected, right? Yes. I don't know why the symbol for Zcom is not gone here, but they are destroyed. We have successfully destroyed humanity! Alright, that was a little touch and go there, but I'm actually glad we found a solution. Two stars! Eh, fair enough. 525 days, 96% cure progress. We were really pushing it, weren't we? 46,205 points. Overall, actually, I think that was a pretty darn good scenario. It was actually completely custom in all the best possible ways. So, I mean, yeah, as far as necroviruses go, I'm happy with that. I do think it's a little bit weird that, like, we're fighting, or sorry, we're infecting the plants. I think it would have been more fun if Zcom was the plants, right? Just to recreate plants versus zombies, and then we're invading someone's backyard and trying to stop them, but they have a whole bunch of plants, we have to overcome that. I think that'd be more fun than Zcom, and then all that, but yeah, whatever. Otherwise, it's fine. Very good scenario! And I did catch your grammatical mistakes, so I feel good about myself. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.